welcome back to Common Frontline. Jay here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Batman Superman number 18. The title of this issue is Sacrifice. It is written by Greg Pak. Pencils are by Adrian Saif. Inks are by Jonathan Glapian, Sandra Hope, Archer, and Jaime Mendoza. Colors are by Ulysses Ariola. Um, Superman is concerned and scared about this Joker-like enemy coming at him. And it's not just coming at him, but those who mean the most to him. He tries to start up, um, start up the Fortress of Solitude's crystals before it's fully healed. But Kara stops him, reminding him that without the Fortress of Solitude, Kandor will be lost to them forever in the Phantom Zone. Just then, Batman calls Superman on what he claims is a magically secure channel. He tells Superman about a plan to use Lois as bait. Since she is the one that is the closest to him, the one he trusts the most, but it's all a ploy to get the villain to shoot Lois, who is in on the plane. She even goes further and says, you know, like our midnight um, rendezvous and all that, you know, try and play it up. Superman understands this and starts heading to where they are, realizing that the plane's already in motion. But instead, Batman is shot. Since he is the one Superman trusts the most and confides in the most and will miss the most. Batman had his armor, though, filled with kryptonite in it. So we find out that this, this smart bullet that's been being used, these smart bullets, were actually citizens from Kandor. Batman traced it back to where Kandor is. It's in, this, it's in the black sand desert of Iceland. So... At the end, we see all the citizens of Kandor being ready, and they look like they're about to go fight. The story is something that never has really been done in any Superman book before. For the first time, Superman's villain isn't physical, and it isn't Lex. This is someone new that is really messed up in the head, using shrunken Kryptonians who were supposed to be in comas as smart bullets, shooting them, this is a great mystery, and I'm a sucker for a great mystery. The story gets five stars. The art here was really strong, but I think the only thing preventing it from being five stars was the three inkers on it. It interrupted the flow of the art for me. The art gets four and a half stars. Overall, I really did enjoy this issue. I loved how that the villain deduced that the one person Superman trusts the most isn't actually Lois Lane, but Batman, which really shines a light on, you know, their friendship. Something that hasn't been done in the New 52, really, because they're kind of a little snarkier to, towards each other in the New 52. Because Batman's a little snarkier towards everyone. In my opinion, this is the best arc in the title since it actually started, you know, since the New 52 started up. I give this an overall four and a half stars and recommend picking it up. Well, those are my thoughts. Now I want to know what yours are in the comments below. Also, like this video, subscribe to Comic Frontline, check out and subscribe to my channel, The Comic Book Theater, check out Comic Frontline, the site, for all the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews. For even more news on all things related to comics, comicrelated.com is your source for all your comic book needs with daily updates. And don't forget to like and follow me and Comic Frontline on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'll include all these links in the description below. Until then, I'll catch you in the next review.